It's a completely different spirit that the 20th century you know, was about. Uh, the machine, you know, the, the internationalization, you know, the, the style. Uh, all these words are obsolete today. We have uh, abused the territory. We have uh, built cities ignoring completely the places where they were sited. And we are now seeing the dramatic effects of this type of urbanization, uh, the lifestyles that we have of excessive uh, consumption of resources, uh, when we uh, fabricate, when we build, when we inhabit. To me, a land architecture is the most recent nature. And the most recent nature is the one that uh, humans create. Whatever we do in nature, it turns into the most recent nature. How much can you actually make the land you're dealing with suffer? or how much do you need to repair in order to move forward? So my question was always in the relationship to this, that the way of thinking, when you talk about sites, when you talk about uh, context, is that if you think context is only relating to everything else that is man-made, then you're losing out on the land. 가지고 있는 장소가 시작할 때는 어떤 잠재태로서 뭔가 드러낼 수 있겠다. 뭔가 이렇게 기프트 박스를 열어서 언폴드를 할수 있는 그런 서사 같은 게 보이는 그런 거가 이제 애써서 어, 들여다보는 거죠. But of course, I mean the place themselves were made with that extreme care and intimacy of finding the right stone, finding the right wood, finding the right location. So there was an echo that is very important in this the intimacy of making the space, first of all. That's the number one. It's a, it's a whole body of understanding. It's not only the topographical understanding and the, and the formal understanding of, of the land or, um, or material understanding. It's, it's also an understanding of the cultural um, relationship uh, with the land. So to me, I think um, nature and, and culture is, is interrelated. It's very important to understand that you have uh, hardly any nature without interference from, from humans. In a sense, also, also the human culture is very much related to, to the landscape around them. There's a level of regression that doesn't really make sense to us. How do we build with uh, an evolved material in concrete and be less comfortable than we were in the traditional um, uh, constructive system? It really just doesn't make sense. And uh, people don't realize how much of a regression that is. So the, uh, providing an alternative in, you, in which we're using these low tech materials that are a lot more suited to the climate. So it's the materials, but it's also the way in which we, we design and build with it is a form for us to empower people to kind of center human systems, human knowledge, um, working with materials that are, in which we, we have a direct connection to the body. We are building construction is not to be able to build a structure. The structure is not to be able to build a structure. The structure is not to be able to build a structure. 음, 점유하게 되는 것 같아요. 그래서 시간이 지나면서 자연스럽게 녹이 슬고 혹은 시간에 의해서 물과 바람에 의해서 풍화가 되고 그래서 시간과 함께 좀 나이 들수 있는 재료, 물질, 건물이 됐으면 하는 바람이 있고요. 그래서 너무 섬세한 건축을 통해서 컨트롤 하기보다는 땅과 관계 맺고 그땅 안에서 어떻게 나이 들면서 어, 자연의 일부로서 지속될 수 있는지에 대한 문제가 저희의 중요한 질문일 것 같습니다. 또 하나 조금 붙이자면 
콘크리트 머리에 서 있는 이 땅에 어떤 감각을 느끼는 게이 땅의 중요한 이야기라고 생각했던 것 같아요. 어, 어떤 건축물, 인공의 물질이 들어서긴 했지만 그것들이 뭔가 자연 위에 있자고 하는 게 아니라 뭔가 사람들이 자연의 감각을 느끼고 자연과 내가 어떻게 관계 맺고 있는지 보여줄 수 있었던 게이 땅의 좀 근본적인 이야기가 아니었을까 생각합니다. In the beginning, everyone questioned why do we need to make this? Is it even a necessity? Even the community members like these beautiful things. Why do we need to preserve it or why why do we need to make this? But when we started making this, everyone understood because you make a beautiful thing and people started gathering and people started telling stories and asking things around. And that is powerful to unite the community and to create the strength within your heart. So I think it's not about the building or the structure. It's about the strength that or uh, within our heart that we can do better from this and we can rise back. Land architecture to me also, to me can also be related to air. I mean, can we design air? Can we design the atmosphere? As a matter of fact, we are. And the two of them have something in common. They do not care about borders. They do not care about imposed limits. It's a continuous medium which wraps around our planet. So both of them are air and land. So we should defend this almost as borderless reality, as ecosystem, as ecology should be addressed without any limits, wrapping around the old planet Earth. I'm using the ground scape. The ground scape is what is the ground scape? 그러니까 지표면 위에 있다는 거는 지표면 위에 물도 있잖아요. 그러니까 지표면 위에 바다도 있는 거, 호수도 있는 거고. 그러면은 거기에 뭐 움직이는 것, 미생물, 식생, 물고기 다 포함되는 거죠. 거기에 사람도 포함될 수 있고 문화도 포함되고 뭐다 포함되는 거죠. 그런 그 포괄적인 개념에서 사실은 우리가 그 경관을 다뤄야 되는 거는 당연한 일인 것 같습니다.